Oh boy, we're starting with a beautiful piece of wood today. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wolf Ridge Woodworking. I'm Ed, welcome to my shop. I'm so happy you're here. I've got a really special piece today. So this is a, a local piece of olive wood that came out of my neighbor's yard. I've, it's been sitting on the shelf for a little over a year. I finally split it and just, gosh, look at that figure inside of that. We've got a crotch here, so there's a lot of figure going on here. I'm so excited to turn this. Uh, just a little facts about it. It is about 10 inches wide. That's about 254 millimeters. And at its widest, it or your deepest, thickest, whatever you want to call it, it's uh, you know three inches or 76 millimeters. Today we're going to be using a faceplate rather than a worm screw. Just want to try something different. Um, so let's go get that faceplate mounted and let's get it put on the lathe and let's go have some fun. Alrighty, before we do the resin, we gotta get this bark off. I already got it off over here. It did really uh, come out pretty easily, so hopefully this side will do the same. So, uh, just got my utility chisels. It's not one that I do find work woodworking with. Alrighty, so we're gonna go with uh, Illuminite Slow Set today, about 12 minute working time, and then uh, this Pearl X uh, Sapphire Blue, that's the color I'm gonna go. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix two cups, one with clear and then one with the color and kinda blend them together and see if I can get a cool effect. I've seen Doug over at Pole Barn Productions do this before. Stunning results, so let's see if I can do it too. Dear Lord.
Alrighty, I got some five minute epoxy here and um, rather than using the Pearl X that I used before, I've got this Alumalite uh, uh, Ocean Blue. Um, I think that'll uh, fill in where the wood is well. So let's mix up some epoxy. Alrighty, I got it, uh, the chuck wrapped on it, and I've got a towel just to kind of try to protect it. I think it'll still get a good connection. Um, so just use the tailstock here to make sure that I had it lined up perfectly. So now we're gonna get it turned around.
Well, as you can see, I'm in a different location. The reason why is uh, yesterday I had a swarm of bees come in and I, I guess they're looking for a new home. And uh, so I'm, uh, I'm frozen out of my garage for right now, but that's okay. I'd been able to finish the bowl. Um, the only thing I didn't do was uh, finish off the, uh, the foot. I just want to indent it a little bit, um, put my maker's mark, but I'll do that um, when the bees decide to go somewhere else. Um, but this was really a lot of fun. I think it turned out really nicely. Um, and I'm going to call this a Mediterranean bowl. It was my wife's idea, but it just looks like the, the ocean and, and, you know, olives come from overseas. So I don't know. It, it made sense uh, to me. Uh, but anyway, I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it that thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That's okay. But please comment and share the, the video. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you want to see other videos like this, uh, click over here. Or is it over here? I don't know. I'm not in, I'm not in my shop, so I'm not sure. So it's gonna, I'm just going to point both directions. So uh, if you're new, click here. If you want to become a subscriber, click here. And click the bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you.